What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of Infidel, the newest film from director Cyrus Nuwasetti. Uh, before we begin, hey, if you like my channel, cool, hit that subscribe button to join Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. Hey, if you like any of these videos, cool, hit that like button as well as commenting below on any video that you watch, including this one. So Infidel is the story, of course, of David, who is played by Jim Caviezel. Um, he is a guy that has a very true faith in himself. He writes a blog that's very popular and he's offered the chance to go to Cairo at the behest of his wife to basically talk about his faith and stuff like that. And he makes the decision to basically have a stance on his religion because why not? You know, if, whatever, what you truly believe is something that you should truly try to put onto the, you know, the world, try to represent yourself. And he ends up getting kidnapped by the Hezbollah. And we meet this character who's played by Hal Hassan, who plays Ramsey. And he basically says, you know, you're uh, you're a spy. You're an agent of the government. And this whole movie it basically represents the whole idea of you know, political espionage and corruption through like certain types of scenarios. And then we have his wife, who is Elizabeth, who put, is played by Claudia Carvan. And she is a woman who works for the CIA and she's very, she, she is actually not very religious. So the whole aspect of her and her husband is a really kind of interesting idea. And because the government in the United States is very against helping their own citizens, she decides she's going to go over there and take care of it herself, which leads into a very espionage, very action oriented type film with an underground movement and so on and so forth. So it is a little ahead of its time when it comes to, you know, the ideas of women and, you know, so on and so forth. And so watching this movie watching jim caviezel have be coerced into admitting he's a spy to his ability to kind of you know defend himself and so on and so forth and the idea that the government itself the iranian government refuses to see the actual circumstances is a really interesting take on a thriller and so in this movie when you're watching it you sit here and your your ideas and your political views and your religious views are going to affect what you think of this movie what my, what i think about this movie could be completely different than what you think of it based off the idea of you know whether you believe in god whether you believe in certain religions like uh the muslim religion and so on and so forth or the christianity or catholic catholicism or something like that that is what this movie is trying to basically throw on its shoulders is the ability to give you its take and hopefully you enjoy what it's trying to say with that said the movie and its representation of its characters are not necessarily fully fleshed out uh Hal Hassan, who plays like, like a, a scottish guy like i said with ramses is his name he feels a little one note he feels like a bad guy who has some underlying feeling to him and maybe he has like a a brotherly love for the, the character but as they say, it's all business and stuff like that. So I don't really feel like his character is well represented. And it's the same thing with the Javid character, who is a friend of the David character and the Elizabeth character in the beginning of the movie. His his story arc is just so strange. And, you know, what they end up doing with his character is so weird. And it doesn't really kind of flesh it out very well. So the, the bad guys in this movie are a little one note and a little goofy and just their turns and twists. They're just, it just doesn't feel very well represented. I think when they're with Jim Caviezel, because Jim Caviezel is such a, a, a good actor, I think he's able to lift the material up, but just, I don't think the script is good. I don't really do. I really don't. I think the political views and the, the religious aspects are a little like, uh, they're a little like beating you in the face saying you have to believe this and you have to believe that. So it's not like it's a bad movie because like I said, you know, with the Elizabeth character, with the, the way she is doing things, I think it's interesting to watch her character and it does have really powerful moments. But I just think overall, I think when you're dealing with like the action and you're doing with the espionage and you're dealing with the weirdness of the thriller, I just think the movie doesn't land. I don't think it sticks its landing. I think it's a little too convenient how things play out, how characters find characters, how situations happen. So overall, Infidel's an interesting movie, but once again, your views and ideas of political and religious aspects is going to affect what you think of this movie. And with the producers of this movie, they have very powerful stances on what they believe. So I, I, I have all respect for anybody in their religious aspects and their political views, but 
the movie just definitely didn't hit me like I wanted it to. I thought that, like I said, the trailers were interesting, but yeah, it's overall, I just think it was a disappointing movie, but it still had interesting moments. So, but yeah, that'll be my take on Infidel. Like I said, it could have been better. It just depends on your view. But anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think of the movie. Try not to make it a political discussion because I just want to see what you thought of the movie, like I said, and uh, yeah, that'll do it. But anyways, if you like my channel, cool. Hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. Uh, if you like these videos, cool. Hit the like button. If you dislike it, it is what it is. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.